there are hunters, and then there are elite hunters. The elite never settle for gold when there is the glint of a diamond. They climb the highest mountains, patiently searching for the right moment to break the silence with a perfect shot. Parque Fernando, every hunter's patience is rewarded with the hunt of a lifetime. Lines of axes deer roam the steppe. Our looping meadows dim with majestic spiral horn blackbacks. Our grass feeds the largest mule deer in the Americas. And our lakes are the most tranquil places where you can find flocks of brightly plumed cinnamon tea. And for the most elite hunters, Parque Fernando is home to record-setting red deer, the finest you will find on Earth. Just remember, you are not the apex predator here. That job belongs to the pumas, and they don't like to share. So what kind of hunter are you? Find out in Wild Patagonia. Hola, ¿qué tal? Escúchame. Welcome to Parque Fernando. We'll keep this brief before my nieces pendejitos act up again. Oye, deja esto. Si la insultas, esto te pedirle disculpas. No me mandes disculpas. Ok, down to business. You came highly recommended as the warden to turn this slice of wild Patagonia into a world-class hunting reserve. Naturally, I expect you to hit the ground running, even though this is your first time here. Stretch your legs out. I'll start you off with some routine responsibilities. You can do this in any order. I don't care as long as you do the jobs well. I try not to micromanage. Well, not too much. To get the lay of the land, you'll want to go to the nearest lookout tower. Mark on your GPS. Climb on up and take in the view. Easy. There's also a hunting outpost nearby, and I'd like you to prepare it for upcoming guests. My gaucho friends do all the heavy lifting with the outpost. You just need to put on the finishing touches. Bring things up to the standard of a professional hunter, then bring them up a little more. Bitte. If you are itching for a hunt, you can harvest some game for the construction crew building our central lodge. I like to keep the people who work for me fed and fed well. It helps them stay loyal. Our chef can prepare anything but a puma. See what you can find in the area. I'll chime in to help if you need it. Not all tracks lead to animals, so I always apply the sniff test. If the droppings are fresh, your game is close by. But if you find all the droppings, that animal is long gone, and you should look for a more recent trail.
people from the USA love to brag about how great their mule deer hunting is back home. But after they see the deer at Parque Fernando, they are not bragging anymore. World-class bugs and does are so abundant here. If we don't hunt them, they'll overpopulate and start the other animals who graze here. Because these boludos eat everything. place is my pride and joy, and you can see why. I name it for my husband, Fernando. May he rest in peace. Before he died, I made him a promise that this reserve, with all its abundance, would host the world's most elite hunters and feed the communities around it. Time to keep that promise. I've been hunting here since my husband bought the place all the way back in 1979. You may have heard, I was a two-time back-to-back national champion with the Hitler rifle, three positions. I know guns. I know game. And my park nourishes the biggest, most exquisite free-range tags you'll ever hunt. World records are set here. Some of them belong to me. If you're as good as I'm paying you to be, maybe you'll set some records yourself. But let's not cut this torta before it's baked. We've got a lodge to build, outpost to open, wilderness to explore. And if you see anything strange along the way, come straight to me and me alone. Loyalty is very, very important to me. My park is a paradise, but sometimes the disloyal people who work here have mala leche. You know, tough luck. That will do. Our chef is a master. You'll gain a few kilos eating his food. One plate is never enough. Hear that? Time for esposas y jefas. 
telenovelas are my only vice. Simona's going to find out the identity of her biological father. Is it Gaston or Facundo? I better be Facundo, que churro. Gaston and his life can be trusted. No, no, no. Now, that's one task finished. Two more to go. You've dribbled the ball this far down the field. Now, score the final goal. Everything you need should be there. Set up the place. Maybe I like already. Check. We have a saying here, the truth is in the Milanesa, which is to say, proof is in action. And so far, you are proving worthy of your reputation. Bravo. Now, head up to the lodge site. Mark on your hunter mate. Once the lodge is complete, we can officially open Parque Fernando to the hunters of the world. No news on the identity of Simona's father yet. But the lodge crew sends their gratitude for that game you harvested. They can't wait to barbecue it. And hello, it looks like you've reached the lodge. We still have a lot of work to do here. There are water pipes in place, but no power system. I may need your help with that later. And once the place is built, we'll need to furnish it and fill it with trophies to impress our guests. One part of the lodge that is finished and has been for a while is my archery range. Have you seen it?
Start by having a look inside the hunting blind and the hunting tower, to the left if you are facing the range. These are the same models you'll be installing throughout the reserve. Want a little fun? Step onto the shooting platform and hit a bullseye on one of the targets. Yes, I know, the range is set up for archery, but if you don't have a bow... It's my range, my rules. Use a gun if you want, I do it all the time. Che, that's how you hit the mark. 
but as shots go, that was an easy one. If you want real challenges over the years, I've set up targets all over this park, perfect to test your skills. Think you can match my greatest hits shot for shot? Just look for the stone circles on the ground as you explore. Back to business. My friend Juliana runs a travel agency that specializes in hunting and fishing expeditions. This week she's bringing in a party of influential hunters to build excitement before we open to the public. One look at our red stacks and they'll be telling all their friends to hunt at Parque Fernando. We want to greet this party with a proper feast, and the chef has requested fresh game for the occasion. A black bag or an axis deer? There are plenty in the region around the lodge, so go out and hunt one for us, will you? Pardon me, my show is back on. I have an affinity for pumas, not just hunting them. I've raised them, rehabilitated them, protected them. I bet we have more pumas per kilometer in this reserve than anywhere else in the Americas. They have a simple philosophy, one which I have applied to my business dealings. Respect the puma, the puma respects you. But this respect the puma once, you get no second chance, viste?
dear. Perfect. It may sound easy to grill venison back strap and serve it with chimichurri sauce. But our chef makes no ordinary chimichurri. Pair that with a 2014 Mendoza Malbec and your mouth will go to heaven. But don't get too hungry yet, because this meat is for our guests. There's a shed at the location marked on your hunter mate. Bring the game there and lock it up to keep the predators out.
Ramona took the DNA test to see who was her father, Facundo de Churro or Gaston the Lying Dog. The result? Neither man was the father. Simona's search starts anew. This show always gets me with the twist. Whew, my heart. See the shed? Place your game in there. Hang it up on the hook and lock the door. Good work, thank you. It's too bad we don't have cold storage here, or you could stockpile meat for the future. Running a refrigerator on generator power would cost me a fortune in petrol. We'll need a better power source soon. When we have that power, and the whole party's up and running, you will lead groups like this VIP hunting party. For now, I will assign the party to someone else while you prepare the reserve for their arrival. For example, we want our guests to have some easy fun when they get here. What's more fun than a duck hunt? We have beautifully bloomed cinnamon teal. I see them all the time at Lago Peron. All it takes is some decoys and a collar to bring in a whole flock. Go to Lago Peron and set up decoys for the incoming party.
a vasca young lady named Beatriz Cabrera to leave this hunting party. Beatriz is a gaucha, born and raised on the land, tougher than most men, and the apple of my nephew's Vicente die. I taught Beatriz to shoot myself, so the party will be in good hands. In case she needs anything, I gave her your number. If she reaches out, help her if you have the time. Lago Perón is just ahead. I trust you place those in a natural grouping. Thank you. Now we have an urgent problem. The fan belt on the generator that powers the lodge site is busted. Perhaps it was sabotaged by an energy salesman. I'll worry about that. You worry about getting the power back on so the crew can continue working. Unfortunately, we are a long way from the nearest hardware store, but as we say, lo atamos con alambre, you know, improvise, like my Giver. Try salvaging a fan belt from the site mark on your hunter mate. That's an old excavator left behind by a mining operation decades ago.
You are now near the first site where I plan to build the lodge, but my nephew convinced me to select a more central location. He was right, I think, but it's more difficult to get supplies to the middle of the reserve. Case in point, now. hunting woods a buffalo that a surprising number of people miss. What a buffalo loves? Water. If any guest ever asks you where to find them, send them to the lakes and swamps. What a buffalo are vital for containing uncontrolled vegetation growth in the reserve, especially during wet seasons. And their meat? Fantastic. Our local beef is world class, but if you ask me, I still prefer buffalo. soon. I could have it removed, but there's something I like about it. It represents the failures of those who would have destroyed this place, had Fernando and I not rescued it from them. Pelotudos. Their loss is our gain. See if you can salvage an appropriate fan bell. Vamos, back to the lodge. belt to the generator. How are your mechanical skills? Can you fix it yourself? Tranquila, Carolina, tranquila. This isn't your fault. It's my fault. The silver lining is that now we have no choice but to set up a more sustainable power source. I wanted solar power, but let me tell you, 
wind turbine sales people are persistent. This one guy claims he can save me packs of cash. Personally, I don't think there's enough wind here. Neither does Vicente. For the sake of due diligence, can you test this salesman's claims? Collect the wind gauges at the front of the lodge. Set the wind gauges at the locations marked on your hunter mate. The locations marked off by the turbine salesman are just ahead. We need to leave these gauges up for a while before you can collect the data. You've been working hard. Treat yourself to a hunt. There's plenty of game in the region. See what you can find.
Well done. You bagged yourself a trophy just in time to collect that wind gauge data. Head back to the gauges. lying after all. Our winds are in the optimum range for turbines. We could even produce a surplus of power to sell off locally, bigger than the surplus we might get from solar. The thing is, I've waited for decades to open this reserve. Now that we are this close, every minute we delay is agony. So while we were waiting on that wind data, I ordered solar panels anyway. Impulsive, maybe, but wind turbines take too long to build. I simply couldn't take the chance that our VIP guests would arrive to a lodge without power. I even paid for emergency rush shipping so our solar panels were just airdrop next to the lake. Before I send a team out to retrieve them, can you confirm their arrival?
the shipping receipt says my solar panel should be in the area ahead of you. Do you see the solar panel? No? I hope some boludo pilot didn't screw up the drop. My nephew marked the plane's flight path on your hunter mate. Search that area, find those panels. I haven't been to church since the 80s, but I'm praying to St. Anthony that you find those missing panels. Don't give up, you have to be getting close. found my solar panels. Oof, maybe St. Anthony did the trick after all. I'll send a crew to that location to retrieve them. <laughs> Sounds like everything is dead except for some cabling which probably blew further, of course. The winds must resent that we are going solar but they might also point us in the right direction. My nephew Mark an area on your hunter mate where he thinks you should look. What galls me is we had an account with this freight company for years. Whoever this drunken mess of a pilot is, missing his drops by whole kilometers, he's finished. We'll see to that.
see our missing package yet? You can be part of, unlike our pilot. We don't have time to waste. I want you to shoot that package down, and hopefully nearby, Woods of Buffalo won't charge you. I promise you, Che, this pilot, this fellow Dudo is going to pay for putting you at risk like this. Wait until the water buffalo disperse, or find a way to disperse them yourself, before you retrieve the package. You've got it. See, this is the last piece we need to power up the lodge. Get back there and do the honors. You can install that cabling by the solar panels. My nephew says it should be a simple plug-in. Let's hope this works. Ave Maria! It worked! Parque Fernando can finally open to the public. Che, my beloved Fernando is smiling down on us. You know, he and I planned to open this place all the way back in 1983, but then he died. And one thing after another got in the way of opening. I had a family to pull together, businesses to run. Everybody doubted me. Doubted I could manage it all without Fernando. Every time I spent money to improve the park, his Boludos brothers laughed and called me Doña Quixote. Too bad none of them live to see this day. If I am Quixote, you are my panza. And by opening this park, we have boat, a giant, and wall. But this is only the start of our adventures together, Che. For one thing, we need to put finishing touches on this lodge. I am the patroness for a local artisan, goes by Madmas. He's not your ordinary taxidermist, more of a miracle worker with flesh and bones. He can turn most any deer hide into the softest rock imaginable, exactly what we need for our lodge. Harvest a mule deer or a red deer, and I'll have Mad Mad make a world-class rack. World-class.
Yeah, that's a subpar height, and you know it. You are lucky Matt Matt is a miracle worker. Maybe next time you'll bring him something nicer. I'll put him in touch with you. Wait, what's this? Yes, that is bad. Beatrice is bringing in that VIP hunting party in a couple of days, so she's been scouting her hunt. She just sent word that someone's been living in one of our world-class hunting blinds. Can you check the location out for me? Not all tracks need to animals, so I always apply the sniff test. If the droppings are fresh, your game is close by, but if you find all the droppings, that animal is long gone and you should look for the more recent trail.
If I wanted people to come in hunting blinds, I wouldn't have invested in outposts. I'm not going to send you on a manhunt. I have people for that. But while you are there, is there anything that might help identify this trespasser? So this boludo was careless enough to leave a cell phone behind. Let me guess. Is his passcode 11111? Wow, I can't believe that worked. But I can't believe this phone belongs to Gilbert Baden. He's this foreigner too much money for his own good. And he paid me a lot of it to come here before opening. To study puma behaviors. He was supposed to leave days ago, though. What's on the phone? Send me the link. Parque Fernando Lodging Review. One out of five stars. No running water, no electricity, no facilities at all, really. Of course not. I told you we were an open, you pelotudo. Don't trust the owner, Carolina. She promised pumas in the area. Been here six days, haven't seen a single cat. Because you are an amateur, but then... False advertising. Worst so-called reserve I have ever visited in my life. I would give it zero stars, but that isn't an option. Are you serious? I have never been so insulted, and believe me, I know insult. Pelotudo. <laughs> you know what we need right now, besides Baden's head on a plate? A break. We deserve some fun. I'd invite you over to watch telenovelas, but I bet you'd rather be up there shooting. Challenges recreate four of my personal best shots. The first is from the most difficult hunt of my life. Fernando had only been gone a few months, and he left everything to me, which angered half the family tree. I hardly had time to grieve before Fernando's brothers and uncles and cousins were pushing me around. Every man wanted his piece of Fernando's operation. They said I had no business being in charge. Every day my world was spinning out of control faster and faster. So I came out here to find clarity. Walking these grounds, I could still feel Fernando's hand holding mine. Stand in this stone circle. See the target? This was where I made my trophy shot that day. Can you replicate that? Hey, you 
are a good shot. You know, making this shot changed something in me. Even without Fernando, if I could make shots like this, I knew I could protect my family and my interests. All I had to do was aim at the right target and pull the trigger. Click. Let's move on to the next challenge. next challenge recreates a very happy memory for me. It's the spot where I taught my nephew Vicente and my chinita Beatriz how to make a long shot on Axis deer. Beatriz got the hang of it quickly, not Vicente, but he practiced and practiced and practiced, and that was when I knew he was in love with Beatriz. Why else would this bookworm be so desperate to learn to hunt? Not to impress his tia Carolina. Okay, youngster, step into the stone circle. Ace your lesson. Nice, very nice. This shot has me thinking. I wish Vicente would declare his love for Beatriz. They are from different worlds. He's a white collar college boy and she's a rough and tumble gaucha. But opposite the drugs. And the sooner they marry, the sooner they'll start making more little things with love. Listen to me. Your next challenge is marked on your hunter mate. Target replicates a tricky shot I made a year after my beloved Fernando. No to find, despite my prayers, I was afflicted with mala leche. Fernando's uncle Diego Chepoludo had sued me to take control of the business and won. Total disaster. It was the darkest day I'd seen since my beloved left this world. And if it was all coming to an end, there was only one place I wanted to be. Here, with memories of Fernando. And that's when a remarkable opportunity presented itself. A 15-point red stack.
Step into the stone circle and look for the target. This isn't an exact replica of my stack that day, but it's the same shot. Fine marksmanship. That shot, that whole hunt was lucky because when I got back to the city with my record setting stack, Uncle Diego was reported missing. They never found his body either, which implies that he fled the country, or maybe a puma got into his room, dragged him from his bed, and ate him for a midnight snack. Just speculating. Whatever happened, he was never a problem again. The family business, this reserve, they were mine. Free and clear from then on. With just a few minor obstacles along the way. Go to your last challenge. shot has a morbid origin. About eight years after Fernando died, there was, um, there was an assassination. Viste? The target was a local politician, Dario Menem. He was lobbying to open up protected habitats, like this reserve, for energy companies to exploit. I invited him here to show him the natural beauty, persuade him to change his position. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, he took a 270 bullet through the heart while hunting our red stacks. The shooter was never identified. Before you get any wild ideas, no evidence has ever suggested I was the shooter. But I am an expert on the matter. The forensics team on Dario's case asked me to help them recreate the shot. It seemed impossible to them. It wasn't an easy mark, but I proved it could be done. I've recreated the shot that broke Dario Menem's heart, for you to try. Using a simple bullseye target, of course, all in good taste. Excellent! CCC, maybe you were Dario Menem's assassin. If you were the shooter, I'd share a mate with you. Dario was a lowlife with no vision. He radiated mala onda. Not like you and I. Okay, hey, that was four for four of my most memorable shots. You may not be a national champion like me, but you have my respect. There are plenty of other targets throughout the reserve. Use them to keep your skills sharp. I've got a new long-term goal for you. Harvest a diamond trophy from every species in the reserve. Only one other hunter has collected them all. 
Naturally, that hunter was me. But that was some time ago. And if we are going to impress our guests, we need more recent trophies at the lodge. To prove that the red stacks today are as grand as they were in 1987. Piste. Hear that? Another episode begins. Oof, but I'll have to record it. I need to check in on the search for Gilbert Baden. Take a few minutes to yourself. You will not believe this. The men I hired to track down Gilbert Baden couldn't find him. But then Beatrice calls me. She is always a step ahead of the rest. So of course, she just stumbled over a campsite in view of a Puma Den. Now, who would be stupid enough to come that close to Pumas? We know who. Gilbert Baden. Up that tent. Hope there's no puma in sight. around here are pumas. Check out this cave by the mansion, that's the puma den. If the pumas are out, see if you can find his, his remains, I guess. There's a carcass, but not Baden. Check this animal. I don't think the pumas left it there. That animal must have suffered. Obviously, that's the work of someone who doesn't know what he's doing. Like a certain amateur who wasn't licensed to bring weapons into the park. For now, can you help me out with something a little more personal? I have a, what do you call it, a secret stash. A place in the wilderness where I keep personal items. Things I might need in the future that I don't want anyone else to find. Che, I trust you, so I'm going to tell you where my secret stash is. Go to the location marked on your hunter mate.
appreciate your stoic demeanor. Quiet types are easy to talk to. Don't make me regret trusting you, viste? as a big rock for a key. You'll need it to unlock my stash. Now, bring that key to the new location marked on your hunter maze. Well, I just found out the identity of Simona's biological father on Esposas y Jefas. And all I can say is, wow, I did not see that twist coming. I won't spoil it for you. Spend enough time working with me, you two will become obsessed with telenovelas. You'll see. My secret stash should be just ahead of you. Use the key to unlock it. Grab the cash and the VHS tape. Good. Now bring the cash and the tapes to the outbox on the pier near the lodge. I'll have them picked up by the airplane. Oh, but did I tell you? Our spray vendor fired that pilot who dropped the solar panels. Vicente made certain he'll lose his license never to fly again. Mala leche for him.
I've always dealt exclusively in cash for all my businesses. You can trust credit, you can trust banks, but you can trust cash in hand. The bootleg telenovelas, if you are wondering, are all the classics I recorded but never had time to watch in the 80s. I was too busy between the family and the business. Family is important. Never let television get in the way of them. At least until you are my age. Then you deserve all the TV you want. for making that deposit and for being trustworthy. Now let's finish this day off with the bank. We had a drop off here at the inbox today. Go on, open the inbox. Yes, that is dynamite, Che. And I want you to take it to the old mine entrance, northwest of the lodge. Time to show you the real money maker at Parque Fernando, my gold mine.
not all tracks lead to animals, so I always apply the same test. If the droppings are fresh, your game is close by, but if you find all the droppings, that animal is long gone, and you should look for a more recent trail. In the mid-80s I had this place filled up and let the tumors move in. That way Fernando's brothers and uncles and cousins couldn't mess with it. Fortunately, the tumors don't seem to be around today, so you are probably safe. No fumes inside? Good. Place the dynamite on the wall's entrance. Oof, I should have asked for rainproof fuses. But no problem, lo atamos con alambre. Find some cover and ignite the dynamite with the bullet. Sure, that's probably safe. Ha! Mira vos! We could hear that boom from ten clicks away. Your ears must be ringing like church bells. When you've got a grip on yourself, head inside the mine. 
it's structurally safe, or at least that's what some seismologists from Buenos Aires told Vicente. Follow the path all the way until you reach the goal. Now, you're probably thinking, Carolina, how can you open a gold mining operation in a part that's supposed to be a protected habitat? At the end of this path, you'll find out. Understand, the businesses that Fernando inherited from his father and then passed on to me were... complicated. It's taken me years to unwind and restructure them so we can divest our finances from, what do you call, legally great businesses and put our money into sustainable green businesses. Like the reserve. Like this mine. Many men attempted to take over the family after Fernando died. They all believed this mine was their ticket to untold riches. Gold, silver, boron, lead. Name any mineral, they tell you it was down here. Boludos, there's gold in this mine, but not in the rock. Just up ahead, you'll see what I mean. isn't it? Fernando and I could have purchased a lot of different places in Patagonia, 
but the underground lake before you is what convinced us to buy this land. The springs feeding this lake produced the purest, best tasting water on earth. And all the way back in the 70s, Fernando had the vision to see that this water is liquid gold, even though his uncles call him a fool. Creating a paradise for elite hunters won't be enough to protect this land from pollution and exploitation when I'm gone. But a sustainable spring water bottling operation? It's going to be worth billions. A resource worth so much money no one would dare poison this land. That was Fernando's dream. Now it will be our legacy, and I'm trusting you, my faithful warden, to protect this place. I know you will, because... I know that growl. That's a big puma. A big, angry puma. Our explosion must have upset the neighbors. I hope this isn't the puma I think it is. Regardless, you will have to defend yourself. I think I know that Puma. My Fernanda. Don't let her suffer. She's done nothing wrong.
Check Fernanda's stomach when you harvest her. We still haven't found Gilbert Baden. Maybe... I knew it. Fernanda ate Gilbert Baden for breakfast. You were almost lunch. I'm glad that you survived. But Baden got what he deserved. Fernanda. She was the great the loss today. When Fernanda was a kitten, I found her limping through the forest with a broken leg. Alone. No mother. So I adopted her. Beatriz and I raised Fernanda at the estancia until she was ready to go back to the wild. My family said I pampered her, but I pampered lots of pumas. Fernanda was just smarter than the others. She knew when people didn't belong here. People like Baden. Che, I'm invested in you. I want to protect my investment, so I have a gift for you. It will help if you are cornered by another one of my pampered pumas. My beloved Fernando's favorite 44 Magnum. I think, given your contributions, he would want you to have it. I know you have plenty of work to do around the reserve, but if you want to tackle something more low-key after all that excitement, look to Dr. Mariana Luna. I founded a grant for Mariana to research medicinal plants here at Parque Fernando. Once she identifies those plants, you can protect them by applying hunting pressure to at risk areas. And with that, I will leave you to the job. I have hours and hours of telenovelas on VHS to watch. I never imagined having the free time to watch them all. But with you at Parque Fernando, well, my legacy is in world-class hands. I can finally rest easy. I'll be around if you need anything. Thank you, Che. Happy hunting.